Hey, Alan here, and uh, I want to give you a quick tour of the outside of my trailer. Uh, it's a bit of a mess here. <laughs> I'm just kind of getting things organized, moving everything in, and at the same time, getting ready for winter up here in the central western mountains of Idaho. So you're going to see a lot of crap laying around outside the trailer that won't be here in a few days. There's no snow on the ground, uh, but there will be very soon. So uh, yeah, and the mattress is going too. That came out. Um, I've got a better one. Uh, you'll notice that there's uh, snaps and turnbuckles around the perimeter, and that's part of a skirting system that I had installed recently, and I'll be showing off that to you very soon. It's a company I can highly recommend after doing a lot of research. They do service uh, many of the western states, and you can see me about that. Um, this is the storage area, and again, it's a junkyard right now. But I think the one thing that you can see is it's big. <laughs> um, coming around to the front, just to give you an idea how I'm using my storage space. <clears throat> um, got a lot of stuff stored in this front compartment. This could also double as a uh, generator compartment. And uh, right here, you've got a shelf, which I love. It's separate storage for above and below. Um, they've upgraded the... Uh, the connection the uh, fifth wheel hitch uh, so you've got the more ride now with some shock absorbing um, coming around here let me just show off the um, driver's side we take a look at this <clears throat> again very wide very wide for the driver's side storage um, you have these doors inside and just look at how clean everything is in here. I'm not sure if you can see much It's kind of dark. I'll take a couple of photographs But just uh, the way they laid it out. It's really kind of brilliant. I'll bring it in there Maybe the camera will readjust the light But it's very clean Very well laid out and I love having the door here accessible and there's another one deeper in uh, kind of in the middle that ac accesses some more of the uh, ductwork and plumbing <clears throat> so here you've got your control center and you'll notice something missing there's no t-poles for the uh, uh, for the gray and black tank and there's a reason for that those poles when they're in here are on cables and when you're on a cable system cable systems can be trouble so I'm just as happy not to have my tank poles in there. So instead, let's go down here. This is where the sewer pipe is. Now notice, this is the only plumbing, the only plumbing that's exposed from the interior. The interior underbelly is completely sealed otherwise. And notice how clean the propane lines are. It's just done real well. Now your um, black is right there. And your gray is right there so they're easy access I'll be able to get at them from the uh, skirt with no problem at all <clears throat> so Goodyear tires big ones <laughs> 16s and uh, shock absorbers shocks on both axles and the CRE 3000 suspension again beautiful um, Four-point electric leveling, not hydraulic. Now, why? Because hydraulics leak. And hydraulics also require those tanks to take up space that could otherwise be used as storage. Again, fiberglass underbelly here. Fiberglass underneath, just beautiful design. Look at how clean that is. You have one belt for the, uh, uh, for the slide, but your your um, plumbing for the propane is separate so it's not like it relies upon holding on to something on the slide on the back here this one comes with a two inch receiver hitch and I'm going to be hooking up a 20 by 60 tray to that with a nice bag and that'll be some additional storage for me and uh, look at the size of that ladder look at the thickness of the tubing And again, something that impresses me, the fact that you've got fiberglass all the way around. 
Uh, your walls are solid. They've got two inch foam through them with the uh, Luon backing. Uh, makes for a two inch system. And again, fiberglass underneath. Uh, your fixtures are screwed on. They're not snapped on in most cases. Um, just incredibly well engineered, really well engineered. I'm very impressed with what Outdoors RV is doing uh, with this fifth wheel. This is the Glacier Peak fifth wheel. Uh, you have um, LEDs underneath. So you've got some lighting there. You've got lighting up by the fifth wheel hitch. And that'll do it. And I'm going to get to work on my uh, uh, skirting. And I'll uh, get back with you a little later and you can see that.